So I have a Twitter story time that I was tagged in. This is the story time of how a man not knowing how to do something and not admitting that he didn't know how to do something could have made this woman lose her home. So Simply TC says, so let me tell y'all how mansplaining and gaslighting could have ended up in losing my home and possibly even my and my family's life because a man refused to admit he simply didn't know how to identify or fix a problem. So let's start with it's 90 degrees in the shade and feels like it's 98 degrees. Suddenly we start smelling, smelling a weird smell when we turn the AC on. It smells like something is burning, something electrical or plastic. We didn't know if the smell was something toxic, so we turned the AC off just in case. Then we called a friend of a family friend who does electrical work to come and take a look. Personally, I prefer to just spend the money on verified professionals, but Jamaicans love a hookup, whatever, as long as it gets fixed because I'm slow roasting. First time he comes, he claims he doesn't smell anything because the AC wasn't on and he leaves. We turn the AC on and the smell is there almost instantly. So we call him to come back again and make sure it's turned on so the smell is in attendance when he gets here. He comes in, takes a look, takes a look around, climbs up into the attic, looks through all the vents and can't find anything that would indicate a problem. Now here's where he could have and should have just said, I don't know what it is, maybe call someone who specializes in HVAC. But no, he argues my mama down that there is nothing wrong and the smell is probably coming from us cooking. We're like, Ninja, what? Does this smell like food to you? It literally smells like burning plastic, but he's adamant that we're riled up over nothing. Except here's the thing. The first time we smelled it was 4 a.m. when no one was cooking. We said that he is telling us, no, 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 cooking. We tell him the smell is the strongest in the kitchen, I'm sorry, we tell him the, small, the smell is the strongest in the side of the house opposite the kitchen. Cooking doesn't make sense. He doesn't believe us. Between the heat and the smell and being frustrated, my mama starts getting hysterical. Now she's yelling. He basically saying, she crazy. Now me, I'm a fixer. From the second he said that dumb, sh I went into action because I'm not about to go back and forth with somebody over something I know when they're dead ass wrong. I hop on the Google and I search burning smell AC. Found an article that outlines different kinds of burning smells that might come from an AC and what they might mean. The article straight up said, if you smell burning plastic, you in danger. It's something shorting and could start an electrical fire. I'm like, oh, hell no. So I turn the AC off and find a 4.9 out of 5 rated local HVAC company and make an appointment for today. All while Mans is still in the living room arguing with my mother. Side, I don't even know why she sat there arguing with him because the second he tried to blame fried zucchini for a black for a plastic burning smell coming out the AC vents, I would have said, okay, sent him on his way and called for a second opinion. One thing about me, I'm not arguing with you. When I think someone is being dumb or wrong, I just say, okay, and end the conversation. You're not going to make me feel crazy for something I know is not normal. I'll just go to someone else. Anywho, the, uh, the HVAC technician comes, finds some control box outside connected to the AC unit, and lo and behold, several of the wire connections literally burnt to ash. This is the picture, y'all. This is the fried zucchini. This is the, the overcooked hot dogs that were being fried, not boiled. This is totally dangerous and crazy. She says, turns out we hysterical hens were smelling burning plastic and metal because metal and plastic were burning. Funny thing. She says, anyways, um, they put a, tempor a temporary reroute to get the AC back on enough for us to not have to go another night in the air fryer. And they're coming back with equipment to fix it in the morning. All's well that ends well. But I can't help think, what if we had let that man first convince us that we didn't know what we were talking about and that nothing was happening? If we kept using the AC while it was creating a fire hazard, if we woken up in the night to flames, it, sim it makes me so mad I'm shaking. His refusal to believe women could have lost, um, I'm sorry, refusal to believe women could have lost me everything I hold dearest in this world. And it makes me sad because I know if my daddy were here to advocate, he would have taken his concerns seriously. He wouldn't have brushed him off or blamed cooking. 
I don't know how to wrap this thread up. I'm just venting for real. But that man will never step foot in this house again. And from now on, I'm following my mind and calling a professional first because this could have been fixed days ago. Matter of fact, I'm not quite done. I don't understand why he couldn't just admit he didn't know what was happening rather than making something up. We would have paid him for coming out regardless. Why make us feel crazy or dumb? There's nothing wrong with saying, I don't know. Now, this woman clearly really likes to use these little videos or pictures or whatever. She says, when I don't know something, I say that and go the extra mile to find out or pass along the info of someone who does. I'm unashamed to say I don't know and can't do everything. More people need to be comfortable admitting ignorance and inability. It is This is very true right here. We do not all know everything, and it's silly to act like we do. When you admit that you don't know something, it gives you the opportunity to learn. So that is what these people, this person could have done and save these people the hassle. Um, but what Inzuko's brother says, you know, when a dog pees in the house and you put their nose in it and tell them no, that's what you should have done to this man when you found, when the real professional found the burnt control box. How did he not even know to go and look for the burnt control box? It's weird. Um, the simp hunter says, men like that guy would rather have your house burnt down than admit that they're wrong. It's insane to me that people will play with your life rather than feel like their ego was bruised. And their ego shouldn't be bruised. Simply not knowing something is not something that should bruise someone's ego. But this man, clearly, his ego was bruised. Um, Sophia of the Crow says, in my experience, most doctors are like this. They'd rather let you die in agony than admit they're wrong or don't know. And, you know, th this is a tangent with that or, but it does connect because there have been articles and studies done where male doctors simply do not listen to women and certainly don't listen to women of color. So there might be something along these lines in any kind of profession where these men do not want to let on that they don't know something. And like she said, they would rather let you be in agony than to ask for help or admit that you're wrong. They'd rather make you feel like you're the crazy one. So I don't know, what, what do you guys think about this? I thought that this was the perfect story time and like metaphor that connects many of the things that we're saying. These XYs tend to be audacious and entitled and now we're gonna add egotistical to it to where they won't admit that they don't know something and would rather you just suffer. Let me know what you think. Jump in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.